Okay, number four uh, says find the distance, the slope, and the midpoint between the points. So you're going to have to um, know some formulas. On the final exam, you should have uh, received by now a formula sheet from your teacher to let you know what formulas you will be provided with. Um, and there's some formulas that you are expected to memorize. So find the uh, distance. I'm going to use the distance formula. Uh, the distance formula. So it's d equals uh, the square root. You subtract the two x values and square them. You subtract the two y values and square them. So you go to your ordered pairs. You label one of the values x sub 1, the other one y uh, sub 1. And then x sub 2, y sub 2. And I'm saying this, y sub, because they're subscripts to. OK, so then plug the numbers in. So x of 2 is 7, so we're going to have 7 minus negative 3. Be careful with the double negatives. Uh, we're going to change those to a positive, plus 11 minus 7. So we're going to simplify that. So that's going to be um, 7 plus 3 squared is 100. And then 11 minus 7. Um, it's going to be 4, so 4 squared is going to be 16. So that's equal to the square root of 116. We can put that in that calculator and get a decimal. Um, math teachers are okay with you leaving it at square root 116. Your teacher may expect you to break it down um, in terms of factoring out the largest perfect square number. So um, if it's a multiple choice test, you can do that. Uh, or you can write it as a decimal if it's um, uh, not multiple choice. Okay, find the midpoint. So to find the midpoint, I'm going to take the two x values, I'm going to add them up, and I'm going to divide them by 2. Take the two y values, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. So the midpoint formula, x of 1 plus x of 2 divided by 2, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 divided by 2. So what's the sum of the two x values? Uh, it's going to be negative 3 plus 7. I'll get the sum on the next line. Um, the two y values, 7 plus 11, divided by 2. Next, let's write our answer here. So what's negative 3 plus 7? 4, so 4 over 2 is 2. And then I do 7 plus 11, which is, correct, 18. 18 over 2 gives you 9. So 2, 9 is the order pair for the, uh, the location of the midpoint. Okay, now I have to figure out the slope. So to find the slope, you're going to use the slope formula. So the slope formula, it's similar to both of these two formulas, but it's different. So it's going to be y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So 11 minus 7 divided by 7 minus 3. Is there a mistake? There is. It's supposed to be 7 minus negative 3. Okay, change the two negatives to a positive. 11 minus 7 is good. 4. 7 plus 3 is 10. Reduce that. You get 2 fifths, and you are done. A lot of students in geometry want to write the fractions as decimals. It's okay to leave them as fractions. We like fractions. All right, and that's how you do this problem. Number or letter B is done exactly the same way as A is.